Sustainability is about the future of our planet. It's about ensuring that alongside economic growth, we have quality of life for each of us today, but also for our children and our grandchildren. There are a couple of global megatrends occurring, and the most famous one, of course, is climate change. There's a whole range of different solutions that corporates can do to deal with decarbonisation. The first one, and the one that's probably the most commoditized, is where corporates are replacing their brown power needs with green power solutions. The second one we're seeing is where we're looking to do something really productive and different with our waste. The third area is energy efficiency. It doesn't get spoken about enough or discussed, but it is actually probably the easiest solution. Measuring and managing societal value is becoming more and more important for companies. How does it affect climate change? How does it affect human rights in the supply chain? How does it affect material scarcity? And how are we able to basically optimize the dynamics between those different areas? Investors are increasingly asking companies to substantiate the value that they create for society, not only for the shareholders, but also for other stakeholders. It is difficult to have a conversation with CEOs these days without ESG being involved in that discussion. ESG plays a major role in M&A transactions, particularly in relation to refinancing. These projects need to be robust in their governance policies in order to produce the returns that the equity investors are looking for. Sustainable finance is a new growth area the key thing in the sustainable finance is to mitigate the risk. If you mitigate the risk correctly, you introduce regulation in the right way, sustainable finance will come. Most of the governments now, especially in Europe, are forcing people to do uh, sustainable finance related deals. They're incentivizing people to do it. But a new avenue which is growing is the sustainable loans. Banks will give you a better interest rate if your parameters for sustainability are met. And if they're not, you'll be penalized. Going forward, for it to grow, you need to look at it holistically and you need to look at the proper risk mitigation of the project. We at KPMG, we want to be part of this transformation. For that, we brought together our infrastructure and sustainability practices. We want to see a world where governments, investors, our clients in general, they make decisions based on the wider impacts that projects create to the communities and the environmental impacts of such decisions. The success or failure of nearly three quarters of the sustainable development goals depend on infrastructure. And KPMG is working with businesses, investors and asset owners all over the world to help them plan, build, maintain and operate infrastructure in a way that is environmentally sustainable, socially impactful and resilient.